In this lesson, we are going to learn comparable and comparator interfaces. Also, we are going to see how to use the sort method that is available in arrays as well as collect, uh, collections interface. Uh, let's get started. Here we have a simple class called employee and it has three, three fields, employee ID, which is int, name and salary. Here is the constructor and we have the three getters for this three fields. Now let's generate a two string method so that we can print the employee object in a more readable way. So here I have created a class uh, which has main method. I created three, I'm sorry, five employee objects. Uh, they have the employee ID in in an arbitrary way. They are not sorted. Also, the names are not sorted. So, so, so are salaries. So we have five employee objects. I have created an employee list using array list, and I have added all those employee objects to this list. Also, I have created one array list that can hold integers, and I have added the same five employee IDs as integers to this integer list. Now, also I have a simple method called print message, which can be used so that I can print any message that looks good. Okay. Now, I can use collections dot sort method uh, to sort the integer list. Okay, let me print integer list uh, before sort. Okay, here I am printing list. Um, let me print a message. Integer list before sort. So let me do the same thing after sorting also. I am running this application. So here you can see that before sort, the integer list has 100, 200, 101 in a non-sorted way. After sort, the numbers are sorted. Now, can we do the same thing with employee list? Let's try. Employee list. So we got a compilation error. Basically, if we look at the error, there is some hard to understand stuff but here main things are comparable and comparator uh, but what is happening here we asked collections sort method to sort our employee list but it is not able to do that why if we go to sort method actually it is expecting see here this is what we are passing to sort method we are passing a list of employees t is nothing but employees here so if we see here, T should extend comparable interface, but our employee class is not doing that. That is the reason this collections dot sort is unable to sort our employee list. So let's go to employee class and say implements comparable. Okay, comparable is asking which kind of objects you are going to compare it's basically employee objects so we are comparing one employee to other okay good now after two string method let's implement the comparable interface compared to method because we here we have given employee so the compared to method is expecting an employee object Okay, so this compared to should return an integer value. If the current employee 
comes after other employee or another way of saying nine comes after seven uh, so current employee if current employee comes after other employee we should return a positive number if this dot employee id greater than other employee dot get employee id then we want to return a positive integer if this dot employee id sorry uh, less than other employee dot employee id then we want to return a negative number else we want to return zero okay what did we do now we we said employee is going to implement comparable interface and then we have overridden compared to method from the comparable interface let let us see if the error is gone see now the error is gone let's do the same thing what we did before let's print both uh, employee list before sorting and after sorting okay print message employee list before sorting um, employee list for each system dot out dot sorry print ln so we want to do the same thing employee list after sorting and we want to print employee list let's run it and see what is going to be the output this we have already seen so before sorting the employee list is as we have added 100 200 101 but after sort we can see that employee objects are sorted by employee id because this comparable interface is going along with employee the logic that is here is called natural sorting order for the employee objects actually we can change it instead of writing this much code what we can do is we can use integer sorry integer compare method we can provide this dot employee id other employee dot employee id oh, sorry the employed what is there missing work oh, sorry <laughs> let's see what is going to happen now see it is now sorted that is good this is a natural sorting order now we want to sort employee list by their salary how can we do that uh, we have seen that natural sorting order is doing the sorting by employee id so there should be some other way to sort it by their salaries let's see if this collections sort is doing any thing that will support that see there is another method that is accepting list as well as a comparator which will help it to sort it in the desired order so uh, before writing this code let's create a comparator okay i'm going to create a new class called employee salary comparator okay this is a simple class okay it should implement comparator interface so the objects this class is going to compare 
or employee objects let me fix those imports okay and let me override required method compared to all other methods are not required only compare method is enough so here we got two employee objects we need to decide how to sort them just like what we did in previous um, method what we can do is integer sorry in this case decim uh, uh, double because employee salary sort double type compare um, employee one dot get salary employee two dot get salary okay now we have a comparator class which is implementing comparator interface and it has overridden compare method let's go to our main method here after sort by salary okay so here along with list let's provide the new comparator that we have created and let's see what's going to happen so if we see here all the objects are sorted by salary hundred thousand ten thousand twenty thousand ninety thousand okay actually we let's say we have a comparator which is uh, sorting the list by salary in the ascending order we want to sort the same thing in descending order do we need to create a new comparator that will do do uh, do it in the reverse order no we don't need to do that reverse order what we need to do is here we just need to give reversed so this comparator dot reverse is going to give a comparator that is doing the opposite so now if you see the objects are <coughs> sorted by the reverse sorting order we can create one more comparator let's create one more comparator this time it's going to compare the objects by their names okay employee uh, name comparator we are going to do what we did previously implements comparator okay so it's going to expect employee objects let's fix the import then let's override or implement the method that is required and <coughs> employee one to we have to return employee one dot get name dot compare to want to compare to employee two dot get name and that is all we need to do so let's go to our main method let's copy paste this time name so instead of employee salary salary comparator we will give employee name comparator and let's run it okay if we see here chandra c g m p n actually n should come between m and p but because it is small small letter it is going to come after all the capitals so cgmp and small n that is good so do we need to do create a comparator each time we need a different method of sorting no that is not the case we can use a lambda expression so that compiler will create it for us okay let's understand a bit about main logic here 
I'm going to use kdiff. Here I'm comparing our existing comparators. If we see salary comparator and uh, name comparator, everything is same except the return. I mean the logic that we are returning. So this is the important stuff. Let's come here. Okay, this time we are going to compare or sort the uh, employee list by name by ignoring case. Uh, we don't want to create a comparator. We are, we are going to use lambda expression now. So this is our logic, right? Okay, so <coughs> this method is expect uh, is having uh, two input parameters. That is what is here. Uh, separating the input parameters and the body is a arrow. This is how we define lambda expression. Then whatever logic is here, we we have kept here. So, but instead of compare to, we are going to use compare to ignore case. Okay. So why did I change employee 1 and employee 2 to employee 11 and employee 22? That is because I can't use existing variable names. Here if it is employee 11, I can use, yes, I mean if it is something else, I can use employee 1 here. But because employee 1 variable is already used, I have to change it to something else. Let's run it. So this time you can see M N P. Okay, that is how we use comparable and comparator interface comparable is going to decide the natural sorting order and it's going to be declared along with the class definition and compare to is a helper classes and they will take two objects and it will return an integer based on the sorting logic okay that is all